Hello and welcome to the 2022 Student Art Show at Washtenaw Community College. Art is one of those beautiful universal languages that transcends everything. Art speaks to all of us, no matter where who we are or what circumstances we find ourselves in or where we come from. Art continues to be an important, almost therapeutic tool during unknown times, such as pandemics and wars around the world. This year, we're proud to showcase 124 impressive works from our own talented artists. The pieces which you've seen on display in the Student Center and through the virtual gallery were all created in Washtenaw Community College courses, including 2D and 3D visual art, photography, animation, graphic design, and video courses taught by instructors who are extremely talented in their own right. As always, the quality is amazing. And I salute our faculty in the caliber of WCC's visual and digital media arts programs. We're so excited that the renovation of the Morris Lawrence building to be completed this summer will include a beautiful gallery to showcase the talents of student and regional artists. Today, I'm honored to have the opportunity to recognize a student's work for the President's Choice Award. All of the exceptional entries made for an extremely difficult decision, but I'm pleased to select for the President's Choice Award a photograph from Bob Rickman. As you gaze to the other side of the bridge and picture yourself walking across it, you can't help but think of all the possibilities awaiting you. The adventures, the joy, the peace, the beauty. Bob's image was shot on a four by five analog film in the large format Photography 2 course, Photography 212. Congratulations to Bob and all of our talented artists. Thank you for sharing with us. And my heartfelt appreciation also goes to so many who've been working tirelessly behind the scenes to make this year's student art show a success. And thank you to all of our visitors for celebrating these works of art with us at Washtenaw Community College. Hi, my name is Saima Mohammed. I'm an assistant professor in graphic design at Wayne State University. First of all, I would like to thank you all for allowing me to be the guest juror for this year's student art show. I feel a connection to WCC as I've taken a couple classes here in the past. I've taught a few classes here, and now I'm honored to be here today to be the guest juror. There were so many strong works of art that choosing only five pieces was an incredibly difficult task. Uh, so as far as how I went about selecting the work, I had to create some guidelines, of course. One of the most important factors for me was whether the work holds up as an interesting and unique work outside of the context of a classroom. Other important factors were technical craft, individual expression, uh, and the special qualities that drew me back to the piece for another look. If your work was not included, please do not be discouraged. And also please excuse me if I mispronounce anyone's name. Um, for the Promising Artist Award for Video Production, I chose Tyler Farrell for the COVID-19 My Perspective short. Uh, since I do have a bit of a background in design, there are moments where I would have done some things differently with the typography. However, I appreciated the thought that was put into incorporating that aspect into the production. The transitions were well done and worked nicely with the music and the silence. Uh, I'm also very impressed with the lighting design as it really set the tone. This short can speak to pretty much everyone as we all lived through that phase of the pandemic where there was so much chaos and isolation at the same time. It was and continues to be such a unique time in history and this short captures it very well. So congratulations to Tyler. For the Promising Artist Award, I chose Dwelling Number 36 by Marissa Harris. I was so blown away by the level of intricacy and detail in this drawing. When I saw this piece, I couldn't believe that it was from a basic drawing class. This artist has an incredible amount of potential in drawing, so congratulations to Marissa. 
For the third place winner, I chose Galena Walk's Peace Bomb. I think as we move into year three of the pandemic, we often dream about simpler times being in a state without constant stress and worry. And this digital painting feels like that dream. It captures the moment so well, I'm transported to this place and can almost feel the grass underneath. The texture of the grass also feels very realistic. So congratulations to Lena. For the second place, I chose Andrea Rose for a master study. For the second place winner, I was having a tough time choosing between this piece and Four Seasons, not knowing that they were both from the same artist. This artist clearly knows their way around color because the color combinations and transitions on both pieces were lovely and so eye-catching. The ultimately, Master Study took the cake due to the intricacy in the design and the color composition. So congratulations to Andrea. For the first place winner, I chose Doorway by Therese Basha Jarjura. I was instantly drawn to this piece as it made me feel homesick for a place that I didn't know. There's something about the handicraft that gives it a coziness that wasn't expected. And the architecture of this home has qualities that are mathematical and organic. After I got the translation of the poem, I loved it even more. The poem is titled, A Dream, and it reads, A pen drew a house on a sheet. Hope saw it and couldn't sleep a bird resting on the branches, a swing painted on its walls. Kids are laughing, their voices like melody. Knock, 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 knocking on its big fancy door. Open, open the door, please, before I go to sleep. I don't want all of this to be a dream. So congratulations to Therese. Judging the show was such a treat. Many more pieces were just edged out of receiving awards. With the limit of awards, narrowing it down was very tough. Um, you all should be so, so proud of the work you've created. And I seriously encourage you to keep striving to the next level within your art. And congratulations to all. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Scott Britton. I'm the Dean for Humanities, Social and Behavioral Sciences here at the college and that includes art. And uh, I just wanna say congratulations to all of our artists who, who submitted their work to the annual student art show. It was so nice for me to be able to go to the student center and see many of your works uh, on display there. I'm particularly looking forward to the reception, which is gonna be March 31st from four to six. Uh, it's also my pleasure to announce the Dean's Choice Award, which was tough for me with so many fine pieces. Um, but I chose Nathan Schupert's untitled uh, submission. And this is actually a collection of two large ceramic pieces. But I think that everyone um, is a winner who was willing to share their work and help us celebrate uh, creativity and help us celebrate art and the artist's way of knowing. So I think that we're all winners here and I just want to say thank you. I look forward to seeing uh, some of you at the reception and again congratulations to Nathan. Hi, this past year has once again been full of challenges. I continue to be in awe of our students' perseverance and strength as they continue their creative studies at WCC, as well as participate in this year's student art show. We decided this year to have the student art show in a virtual format and as a physical exhibit of student work on the second floor of the Student Center. As a studio art faculty member at Washtenaw Community College, I am honored to share with you this year's People's Choice Award. The People's Choice Award is determined by a popular vote by the WCC community and community at large. This year, we had 38 votes cast virtually and 76 votes cast in person. I'm happy to announce the People's Choice Award for this year. This year's People's Choice Award goes to The Runaways by Marissa Harris. The Runaways is a charcoal drawing on paper that was completed in the Art 122 Basic Drawing 2 course. Congratulations, Marissa.